I'm Jessica Washington, a senior reporter at The Root, and here's what you may not know. Because today is Black Women's Equal Pay Day, we decided to do a deep dive into what the wage gap actually looks like for Black women. And oh boy, was it dark. Black women working full time make just 67 cents for every dollar paid to white men according to a new report from the National Women's Law Center. Although 33 cents might not sound like a lot of money, the wage disparities add up pretty quickly. Over the course of a 40-year career, black women lose a whopping $907,680 to the wage gap. That means a black woman who starts working at 20 has to work until they're nearly 80 years old to be paid what a white man gets by the age of 60. The ripple effects of this are huge. Because our country penalizes people financially for being poor, losing out on wages means black women lose out on wealth building opportunities, like buying a home, which is a massive way to build wealth in this country. It also means not being able to invest in tax-free retirement funds and not being able to help your children afford higher education or pass on assets like a home, which just perpetuates the intergenerational wealth gap for Black families and for Black women especially. For reference, on average, white families are three times more likely than Black families to receive an inheritance. So how did we get here? Well, for one thing, Black women are overrepresented in essential but underpaid professions like home health care. But even Black women in higher earning fields tend to make less money than white men. Black women with a bachelor's degree working full time earn significantly less than white men, white women, and Black men, according to the Education Trust. And Black women with advanced degrees earn less than white men with only a bachelor's degree, according to the U.S. Department of Labor. To fight back against this maddening wage gap, experts have suggested things like increasing worker protections, ensuring that companies have pay transparency and inclusive hiring practices, and raising the federal minimum wage. All of this to say, the wage gap for black women is certainly not a lost cause. We are doing everything that we are being asked to do and more, excelling, and yet we're not being paid. If you still wanna learn more about the wage gap, you can check out theroot.com for some more info.